Connor, a tough one out there, but three big points on the road. What did you make of that? Really good away win. Um, probably as, as tough a game as, as you can get away from home. Um, conditions, playing against a really good team, really good players. Uh, pitch was really, really sort of wet and soft. Pitch has up your legs a bit. Um, obviously scoring um, early with a great finish from Brody and then and then getting pegged back with the equaliser. Um, probably important we got another goal but just for half time. Um, yeah, as a whole, really good squad win. Um, probably I think one of the most impressive and important wins as I've been a part of away from home. Yeah, a, a few boys struggling at the end in terms of those zap legs, but that, that pitch was heavy and, and the rain yeah. throughout must make it really difficult. No, nah, it was. The conditions were really tough. It, the playing conditions weren't too tough in terms of it wasn't windy, it wasn't... But the ball ran nice on the pitch and stuff like that, but it's just a, a game where your legs get zapped really quick uh, just because the pitch was so heavy. Um, I feel like you're running in quicksand at times, so I thought the lads coming on brought, brought great energy. Um, it's not easy coming as a sub in, in that intensity and a pitch like that. I um, thought they'd done really well to, to see out the game. Yeah, we'll move to your goal in a second, but what was your view of the finish for the first, a cheeky little dink from, from Brody? Yeah, I said to Brody after, it's like slow mo. Yeah, I think he waited, he waited really, really long till he got close to the goalie, which is. Testament to him really, it's a lot of composure. Um, if you're going to go for the dink finish, it's probably got to be a late one. Um, and a slow-mo went in as well, I thought it was probably poetry the, the way it went in. It was such a good finish, such good composure and he's, he's really got um, fire in his belly at the moment, playing with a lot of confidence and I think you can see that. Yeah, it's nice to see him enjoying his football at the moment. Yeah, he's such a good player, such such a good player and he's off the ball work as well is, is top so does a lot more running than people will give him credit for he's he's real real team player in that aspect and yeah he's a big big player for us yeah in terms of your goal uh, one we've seen a few times before Leaf cut him back for you but as you've already mentioned it, it came at a big time getting back ahead so quickly after being pegged back yeah it was important I don't know how long it was after their goal but it was yeah probably important we got back on top I thought we were we were the better team at the time um, it's probably a good a really good game first half but I thought we would probably deserve to be in the lead at, at half time. Um, yeah, just a, a probably classic goal in terms of me and Leaf. It's, Kiefer's done a great run for me as well. Kiefer's probably made their back line drop, which has helped me a lot in terms of space. Um, but Leaf's first touch and, and pass and weight of the pass that he, that he cut it back with was, was top. Yeah, great ball from Burge to start the move as well. But um, if you're going to bring up 50 for Ipswich Town like you have today, that, that, that's a typical Connor Chaplin way to do it, isn't it? A nice crisp finish into the bottom corner. Yeah, probably a cutback from from twelve yards was probably a, a trademark goal that I've probably got in in Ipswich colours. I've enjoyed that finish a lot. Um, it's something that is a uh, it's probably looks as e easy one, um, but I've really got to concentrate on their moments, and that's something that I, that I pride myself on. Yeah, how proud are you of that reaching fifty for the club? Yeah, massively, massively. Um, such a historic, incredible football club. I've loved my time here. It's probably the most I've. I've loved being at any football club. Um, I feel like I've found a home here, definitely. Um, and long may it continue. I'm, I don't want to be finished at 50. I want to keep on keep on going, keep on scoring and, and providing for the team. Yeah, and in terms of keeping them out of the net, some, some big defending on there in big tackles in midfield, headers clear at the end as the conditions got, got more and more <coughs> tough. So a real team and squad win, as you've already mentioned. Yeah, from everyone as well, not just sort of centre half speak for themselves. The headers and the way they put themselves on the line, mass skip, tackles are ridiculous amount of tackles in the game um, but the forwards being connected when the ball's going in the box to pick up little bits on the edge of the box I think we've done that the whole game um, and that's why you get three points I think that's what we pride ourselves on we do that every single time you can't not be there as a forward you can't not miss a tackle for a centre mid and I think we were there every, every single moment yeah, not long to recover back at it again Tuesday night that, that's how you like it isn't it yeah it's perfect perfect so we've got a bit of a journey home now um, recover really well tomorrow um, and go again Tuesday which is going to be another tough game yeah. Congratulations and well played Cheers Thank you